Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Rob and Sherry. Before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to see our future videos. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hi guys, Ranger Rob here, and today I want to talk about prepping on a budget. And uh, this is Cinder, our chocolate lab. And uh, she's a very kissy dog. <laughs> so anyway, so today I'm going to give you a tour of how me and Sherry have been prepping. And so I want to put an emphasis on prepping on a budget and everybody's going to do it different. My way may not be your way. So water wise, um, I'll be talking about this in a little clip that I made and, uh, it turns out that uh, I was buying water in bulk um, as far as like the two and a half gallon things at the grocery store and all that. Uh, and that didn't work out so well. Over time, I developed leaks and they don't stack very well. So I've been sticking with Dasani um, bottled water because their bottles are rugged and tight and stack well. I also have found other means to store water in an emergency and I have an advantage uh, yet I don't have the water filter I want yet. Um, a, a Canadian prepper um, suggested people that own pools, we have a big water reservoir. So the problem is, is we have to use that water quickly because especially here in Arizona, because the water will break down over a few weeks. So what, what we would do is if you had a good water filter is take water from the pool, run it through our filters and then put it in the storage tanks. Um, cause really after about two, three, four weeks, the chlorine will probably start breaking down and the water won't be good for drinking. Uh, but once you filter it, you can get the chlorine out of it and then, uh, uh, add a little bit of a preserve to the water. Um, you got an extra amount of water, especially if we lost our water pressure. Um, if we still had water for a while, um, we do have ways of stirring it in our bathtub and I'll be showing you in a, in a clip here in a minute, how, uh, some new ideas that we're using for storing water. So, uh, we utilize two areas. One is our regular grocery store. And then we also uh, utilize Costco for bulk things. The newest things we've discovered is Winco. And so we're going to start buying Mylar bags and you can get dried food like potatoes and things like that, rice and things like that, um, uh, already done. And all you have to do is seal them. And so I'm, uh, we're ordering Mylar bags. We have a food processor already so we can melt the bags, add little, um, oxygen, um, I don't know, little oxygen bags, they call them that you add in the packages and we're going to experiment with that and learn how to do that. So, uh, once again, prepping can be for maybe a week or two, especially if you're in a hurricane area or a place with tornadoes and your power could be out the whole works, or it'd be even something even bigger. Uh, we're next to California, so they could have, uh, they're <laughs> being scared a lot about, uh, uh, earthquakes, which could cause all kinds of power issues. Um, and emergencies over here in Arizona. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of things. That, um, and we have, uh, we have, it doesn't happen that often anymore, but we can get brownouts here in the summer, of, uh, pulling too much power, um, from all the air conditioners and stuff like that. So anyway, with further ado, I'm going to give you, uh, show you a video that shows a tour of our prep room, actually two of them. And then there'll be a second clip after that showing you how we plan to cook if we have no power. And I, uh, Sherry and I are more of a grid down kind of people. Uh, uh, we're, we figure we're kind of a little old, <laughs> don't want to really be bugging out. Uh, if we had to bug out, we could, but we're putting more emphasis on, uh, staying in place basically because of the heat here in Arizona and our age. And I don't want to be in the streets with a backpack on my back saying, guys, here I am. Kill me <laughs> So at my age. It might be better just to die in my house. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, without further ado, here's the video. Hi guys. This is uh, Ranger Rob 
in my secret room. <laughs> not that secret. Now the lighting's not very good in here, and I'm sorry. So this is a a, a spare bedroom. We have four bedrooms, and it's just me and Sherry. So one of our rooms is uh, uh, our prep room, and also a storage room for the Range Rob poopy bags. Believe me, this is not all of them. So what I'm going to show you is doing prepping uh, over time. So for those of you who have been watching uh, our channel for a while, I think like a year ago I told you we were starting to do some prepping. So y you probably will see how much it's built up. A couple of lessons learned. When it came to water, um, we are buying jugs. Those jugs do not last very, you know, like the one gallon uh, or two and a half gallon uh, you can get at the grocery store. Don't use those. We switch to totally Desanti. We have a little bit of other brands, but uh, we switched over totally to Desanti water. So I'm going to switch over to this a little bit. So uh, just over time, I'll buy one or two cases. I like them because they're durable. They're very nice, uh, strong storage um, uh, bottles, and they stack really well. And over time, the ones I have, I'll uh, bring my cam over here, down here, those have actually, just over time, either gotten holes in them, or uh, uh, they're just not durable. And so, uh, if you're going to do bottled water by just buying bottled water, go with the Dasani, because their bottles are strong. Um, I, uh, uh, of course, um, for water, if we were to have a crisis and we still had water uh, supply, uh, I also have one of those 55 gallon bathtub. Um, it's a plastic bag that you can fill with water and then it has tabs in the top and then you can put uh, 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 tabs in it to, uh, or you, you can even put like a cap full of uh, bleach in the water just to keep it uh, safe if you had time to do that uh, we also I'm experimenting with some new things uh, I don't want a 55 gallon water uh, holder because I'd want to put that in the garage the problem we have in Arizona is our garages get to 100 degrees and it's uh, not a good place to store water so anyway so down here is like the, the growing stack of water but um, uh, if you look across the room over here you'll see we have a lot more water going here and we always keep uh, an extra supply of uh, we double up on toilet paper and paper towels but uh, we keep rotating our stuff so uh, that's probably the important thing to do so financially it's not so hard is to rotate um, the foods, the paper, everything, so um, it's not such a financial burden. The other thing I'm experimenting with is that Safeway, you can get these for $9, and these are five gallons, I think, um, but they're designed for water. And so I'm going to start collecting these, and uh, once I buy a water filter, I may fill these and then put a water tablet in them to uh, protect the water. But you can see uh, I'm getting quite quite the water supply. And that's just water. <laughs> and, and we've expanded. The other thing I do is uh, I store all of our foods in these containers you can get at Costco. So uh, um, I have one that's devoted to just uh, soaps and cleaners and first aid kits and stuff like that. So I'm still working on that. Tooth, extra toothpaste where you can buy in bulk at, um, at uh, Costco but as far as foods you can see powdered powdered milk canned items things like that um, are all in here and I just keep expanding to that but <laughs> there's more in here is all prep material too we also keep all of our cameras up in here in electronics so we have a lot of solar things uh, I've done some uh, presentations for you of some of the solar things that we like in here uh, we, Sherry and I have learned how to pickle make pickles and uh, beets 
and then we just keep buying like certain canned goods that I always try to go for something with a little bit of meat and protein in it uh, sometimes simple so the worst scenario is maybe the power goes out for a week or two I'm in great shape um, I probably I'm in good shape for about oh, a month or two but you gotta remember I have family in this state so that I may have them over here so my my supply would go down quick if I had to sustain more than just me and Sherry. Uh, some of the things like we'll do is like with uh, flour and sugar is we keep rotating an extra bag of all that kind of stuff in here. Certain cleaners, a lot of uh, hand wipes, uh, the bulk where uh, if you don't have water <laughs> you're not going to be taking showers. So we got the cases of the hand wipe stuff. Two of them in fact. Um, and uh, well, yeah we'll just extra rope, things like that, uh, extra cat food, and we have, uh, we keep lots of dog food down below. We also have a little bit, two cases worth of uh, one week supply of uh, dried food. One's from Mountain House and another one's from another company. And uh, more electronics. It's the water bob I was going to tell you about. It's with the one you put in your bathtub. That's this right here. Uh, um, we do have bug out bags and stuff like that, but they're actually more for cameras. So, I know this is going longer than I want it to go, but that's not it, guys. So, that's this room here. So, we uh, wanted to expand it a little more, so we're going to my other room. And you can see this is our office in here. And we uh, have extra rooms. So we finally put some shelves in. And we can see we have water down below here. Those are the ones that we don't like very well. And uh, <coughs> so you can see we have plenty of space now to start putting more uh, goods in here. So that's what we're doing. Uh, in there, uh, because I own a Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, you know, so I had a lot of boxes in there. We're buying a one-time uh, shelf probably this week putting it in there so we're going to redo that room so we can stack some of our Ranger Rob poopy bags because <laughs> that's not all of them there's more in the studio so but anyway I hope that gives you an idea of doing your prepping when you can the sooner the better but if your budget's kind of tight just do a little at a time now you can see over time uh, it's adding up and it's getting there Oops, sorry for the so dark. Let me uh, go back to this. So, unfortunately, I still got a lot of booby bags. But this wall over here is going to be a great big shelving we're putting in. I do have some stuff in here that should go in the garage. Um, and we'll get this room. This room's expanded so much. And I still have over 1,500 poopy bags in the other room <laughs> that need to come in here <laughs> so yeah this is a busy room so there you go prepping uh, on a budget prepping at your own speed common sense lessons learned get your water get the Dasani stuff this stuff is the best so anyway, I hope that's been helpful and I'll go back to the other studio one more thing guys I forgot to talk about I'm in my garage once again the lighting's bad I know uh, Probably wondering, oh, well, what's he going to do for cooking or heating up things? <laughs> I never did address that. I'm going to depend on uh, Coleman stoves. I have two of them. And I've had them for years from camping. And they use the little green uh, propane tanks. So up here, I uh, store uh, little propane tanks. And I go, I get them on sale. At Ace Hardware for two for seventy-seven ninety-nine, and that's not all of them. Um, also, keep them here, these little guys. And so, uh, uh, I just keep buying a couple. Um, I actually have more tanks than that too. Of these, the ones in the other one, and some in the other room, and. Uh, uh, it should sustain us for actually quite a long time and so maybe once a month I get coupons from Ace Hardware and so 
when I have a coupon I'll go and buy some Traeger pellets for my Traeger and I'll buy a couple more propane uh, canisters I keep my uh, <laughs> my garage is still a mess but anyway uh, that's how we're planning on doing our cooking I wanted something that didn't burn because if you're in a bad situation <laughs> let's put it that way uh, I don't want to put an emphasis that I have food or uh, resources um, in case things got kind of crazy so propane stove is something I could actually heat water most of the things that we're doing is add water and boil water and so I can actually run my propane stoves in the house if I had to uh, as long as it's a short period of time and I'm still ventilating the house well so that's how we're gonna heat water and cook things is we're using propane uh, I don't have another plan right now I do live in Arizona so we could do uh, solar ovens and things like that so anyway <laughs> That's how it works. And I'm back. I want to thank you for um, uh, making it through our video. I know it's kind of long. I hope it was informative. Hope it gives you ideas for your prepping. Um, I Hopefully I kind of showed you how you can just do a little bit at a time since I've been doing this for about a year or so. You can see I've uh, built up our supplies pretty good. Uh, still got a ways to go, but uh, um, just a little dabble do you. Uh, if you know how to can or do any of that kind of stuff, that's really cool. Uh, gardening is another thing I didn't talk about that much. Sherry and I are learning how to garden here in Arizona. And um, the, the other thing I put emphasis on is I own a pool. So some of that water I could use in a um, filter for drinking, but the rest of that water I could use for watering my plants, even if the water starts going bad a little bit. So there you go. I hope that was a helpful video to you guys. Until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.